welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my January favorites. I actually just finished filming my Ipsy unbagging video and I was about to go to bed and take off my makeup and I remembered I did not film my January favorites. Also, please excuse my voice, I've been really really sick in the video that I was filming earlier. I can't really tell that I was sick because I don't know, there are certain times in the day where my voice gets a little bit. So, I had an entire list, a very long list of favorites, but I didn't want this video to be super long, so I narrowed it down to just these products. Okay, so for foundations, I have been loving this CC Cream um, Your Skin But Better Full Coverage Cream Foundation. Um, I actually have two of them because I kind of go back and forth depending on what shade my skin is for the day but I do use a color medium most of the time as you can see I've used a lot of it and yeah I got this around late December so I've only had this for a month or two and look how much I've used um I use tan sometimes because I feel like there are days when medium is a little too light for me so I kind of go back and forth or sometimes I mix them together but I really really love the formula of this foundation and I love how it makes my skin feel another one I've been loving from IT Cosmetics is their Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer and I'm in the shade Neutral Medium I cannot believe how full coverage this concealer is. I have tried a lot of concealers but this is by far the most full full coverage like extremely full coverage the only thing that I would say about it is that it has a very thick consistency and you can really feel the thickness under your eyes yeah but it's but a really great concealer and I've been loving it so I have another concealer that I've been loving and it's from makeup forever and it's their ultra HD concealer I have used this a lot I actually brought this with me in LA because I really really love it that much as you can see I've used it up quite a bit and I'm in the shade Y31. This is more of an everyday use, so I've been reaching out for this more than the one from IT Cosmetics. Perfect consistency and it gives full coverage. It just it looks natural on me. It also brightens up my under eye, which I love. So I've been really loving this. I mean, I love the entire Ultra HD line from Makeup Forever. And then I've also been loving this one from Pure Cosmetics and this is their Cameo Contour Stick and it has two shades. So one is like a foundation, which I have not even used a foundation side, but I love using this contour side right here. And I think I'm using the one in the shade, I know that I'm using the one in the shade tan. And I've had this with me for such a long time, but I started using it this past January and I absolutely love love it it goes on really smooth it's so easy to use and it's very blendable like i did not expect that from a stick i really really love this it looks very seamless and very natural compared to when you're using a regular um powder contour plus i also love the little beauty blender that this one comes with really really love that i've also been loving the makeup forever skin equalizer hydrating primer is very very hydrating on my skin i'm just not too sure if it actually does a good job in keeping my front but i just love how it hydrates my skin so yeah i've been really loving and then i have here the it cosmetics brow power and it's a universal brow pencil it looks like a dark gray color but once you apply it on your brows it kind of just blends in like when you swatch it it's kind of brown yeah when you swatch it like right there it's brown and then i don't know it's pretty magical you guys it blends in on the natural color and then I have here two palettes that I've been loving and using this past month and first is the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette I really love this packaging right here and I also love all of the shades look at that the shades are so gorgeous um, I also love the brush that it comes with. Usually I don't use the brushes that comes in palettes, but this one I actually really like it. This one on sale for $27, an amazing palette and yeah, I really, really love the quality. And then of course my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I love this. I mean, I love all of my chocolate bar palettes, so I'm not really that surprised why I'm loving this. I mean, come on, look at the packaging. It's a light pink with those little hearts and 
even the inside is gorgeous. I really love all of the heart-shaped eyeshadows. I just love this palette. It's It has every shade that I need. And first off, they do not have fallouts. They're highly pigmented, they're super buttery and easy to blend and it's just everything. I just love them. And they smell like chocolate too, so yeah, really love For them. For lip products, I only have two things, which is a surprise. Usually I'm crazy when it comes to lip products, but you know, I've been just using the basic ones, which is um, my YSL in Beige Ultimate. This one literally lives in my purse. Look how much I've used from this one. It's so buttery and I just love how it makes my lips feel. So I've been using this a lot. And I've also been loving the Galactic Beauty Matte Lip Paint in the color Allure. This is usually what I grab on something that I'm 100% sure will not budge and will stay on my lips no matter what I do. And it's not drying at all. Even if I don't exfoliate my lips, this will not look crazy on me. Usually matte lip colors or any type of matte lip products kind of accentuates your wrinkles and your dry lips, but this one doesn't do that, which is what I love about it. I don't know if you can see, but I have used quite a bit of this one already. You can already tell that it's almost empty. That's how much I love this. I love how it feels on my lips and I love this pink power. So this to me is my perfect matte. So for nail polish, I have one from Essie and I got this from my Beautycon BFF box and it's in the color Marshmallow. I really like white shades, but with this one, it's not a white that kind of looks like a white out. You know what I mean? This one looks beautiful on my nails. I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but I just really, really love this. And it stayed on me like the whole week. So I've been, yeah, I've been really loving it. I have that. quite a few skincare or fragrance type of products. And the first one that I have is this body cream from Bath & Body Works. And it's the one in Twisted Peppermint. And I know it's a holiday scent but I really, really love it. It just smells so amazing, and it also feels very, I don't know, it feels very minty on my skin. I mean, I don't know if it's just the smell or if it really feels minty, but it feels very refreshing when I use this, and every time I wear this, my kids would walk in my room and they'd be like, wow, it smells like candy, it smells like mint, and they love this. Even they are using this one. So, yeah, it's it really smells so, so good, as you can see. I'm almost out of it. So next Christmas, I'm definitely gonna stock up on this scent because I really, Our really favorite love it. is this one from VS Pink, and it's in Hot Crush. As you can see, I've used it quite a lot. I really, really love this. You know what? The only thing that I don't like when it comes to fragrance mist is they don't last long. You constantly have to spray. I feel like I should get the perfume version. But yeah, this one really smells so I've also been loving this hand food hand cream that I got from a Beautycon BFF box. And it's from Soap and Glory. I don't know, I just really love how this makes my hand feel. And the smell of this one really reminds me of my childhood. Like, it's not like a fruity or sweet scent. I mean, I don't even know if you guys are going to find the scent appealing. It smells like my mom's makeup. Yeah, I remember when I was like eight or nine and I would play in my mom's vanity. I would try to put on her lipstick or her blushes and everything and this is how they smell like. Okay, now I can kind of explain how this one smells like. If you guys have a Tom Ford lipstick, that's how this one smells like. But yeah, they pretty much smell similar. I just, I really love this. I love how it makes my skin feel and every time I use it, like I said, it really brings me back to my childhood days. So yeah. I have a few fashion favorites to share with you guys. I don't usually include that in my favorites, but um, yeah, I do have quite a few fashion favorites and one of them is My Girl Sunglasses from Key Australia or I just like to call it Quay Australia. I absolutely love, love, love them. I actually have them in two other shades. I have the one with a blue lens and I also have the one with a pink I feel like I want to buy every shade that they have. Several from Victoria's Secret. First is, I'm actually wearing it right now. Not the shirt, but the sports bra. It's the most comfortable sports bra I've ever worn. When I bought this, they had a special where you get a free pair of sport pants. And the reason, I mean, I just really wanted to get the free pants. And when I started wearing it, I was like, oh my goodness. 
I love it. off. I've also been loving the sport pants that it came with. I've literally lived on them the entire month of January. And another one from Victoria's Secret, again. But this one is my hoodie that I showed in my What I Got For Christmas video. And I just really, really love this jacket. I've been wearing this every single day. And I feel like every time I pick up my kids in school, I always wear my Victoria's Secret sport pants and this jacket. Like all the time, but I really, really the last love thing it. is pretty random, but I just have to share this. Okay, um, so my last favorite would have to be this really plush robe that I got from Ulta um, last December when I bought my brother a perfume as a gift for Christmas. I got this for free, and it's just a plain white robe with like a chevron pattern on it, which you probably can't even see. But yeah, I really, really love it. It's super, super soft and super comfy. I've never really been the type of person to wear a robe at home. I don't know, I just, I, I just never was. But um, ever since I got this, I've been wearing it like crazy. It makes me feel like I'm lounging in a hotel room. And I just, I love it. It's very comfy. It's, it just feels very good on the skin and keeps me warm and yeah, there's really not much else to say about it, but I've been really loving it. So yeah, those are my favorites for the month of January. A lot. I feel like it was a lot. But oh, and by the way, in case you guys are wondering, I am wearing um, a new lip color that I got from Gen Beauty, and it's the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint in the color Bay. Really, really love this red, and I love the formula so, so much. It's not drying at all, but it doesn't set, so it's not like your matte lip paint that just stays there. This one transfers, but I still love it. I love the formula, very moisturizing. It's more like a matte lip cream to me. But yeah, I mean, January really went by super duper fast, but it's been a really fun month. And I will be filming a lot of haul videos because I still haven't filmed my Gen Beauty haul and I haven't showed you guys what I got. Also, I, I have a couple of other haul videos to share as well. Yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some new products to try out. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!